start off the episode with 86 attack. Nice. Whip number six. There's no way. Look at the chat box. There is absolutely no way I just got my seventh whip. Okay, okay, stop. Seven whips in 729. I'm at a one in 100 drop rate right now. What the fuck? The fashion right here. <laughs> I look amazing. That was a long freaking elite clue. Better be worth it. Oh, I got a master. That was, what is that clue though? So yeah, this is kind of weird. I got a master clue that is actually new from the Kebos update. It's in the middle of the farming guild, but in the high level section. So it essentially requires 85 farming. Uh, I think 82 if you boost with the pie. So that's a that's a quite a hard master clue requirement, really. And it has a cabbage wizard. That's fun. I, I love when they add new clue scroll um, locations. It makes them a bit more interesting. Somehow I survived with 2 HP. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> Oh my lord. Wait, what? I just died? I got back-to-back -back steps and I didn't even realize. What? I was so confused what I was doing there. I'm like, is it really back-to-back? -back? <laughs> Holy shit. I'm an idiot. <laughs> After that cabbage fiasco, please reward me. Lesser Demon Mask, I like it. That's a huge clue in terms of money, though. Oh, my God. Yeah, the Hellbird's Elk for 150k. That was a 330k clue. Thank you. You know, it's been a long time since I have shown you guys the kingdom. For reference, the last time I collected this, it was October 28th. So it's been a little over three months. So I still have some money in here, and I'm going to be collecting on 10 workers on Teak. And then five on herbs. Oh my god. So this is what three months looks like. That is a lot of herbal XP right there. I just got 75 from cleaning the herbs so far. That's a good level. I can uh, clean Torstals now, I'm pretty sure. If I go to herbs. Yeah, I can clean those. I have like 600 in the bank. Even more to clean. Well, my hand hurts now, but I have finished cleaning everything. Including the Torstals I had. So yeah, it was a quick 33k herbal XP. Can't complain about that. But yeah, here's the moment of truth. That is the herb collection. All these herbs add up to 87 from where I am right now. That's absolutely crazy. It really is. The majority is coming from the Irits and the Toadflax combined. I just was going really, really hard on those seeds. Uh, they're the most common seeds from Slayer. And especially Irrits, you get so many from farming contracts. I will say, if you're hurting on herbs, just do farming contracts. At least, as of this recording, you just get so many. Anyway, through the magic of editing, there we go. So you can see all of the secondaries I've collected. I've got the Eyes of Newt, the Fungus, a bunch of Spider Eggs, and uh, Dragon Scale Dust. I got a few Wine of Zammies as well, but there you go. We are ready for some herb lore. May as well show you how I got some of the key secondaries, if you guys are wondering. With all of the secondaries out of the way, here comes the painful part. I have to make the unfinished potions. I can do this manually, but it would take me like a couple days, and I'm not gonna not gonna do that. So you can spend 200 GP over here at Zahar in Narda. You need the desert hard diaries for this, by the way. So make the unfinished potions. Oh god, look at my cash stack. I think it was about 4.6 mil, maybe 5 mil. So oh, that hurt. I also need to talk to Wesley uh, to crush the nests. I have 7,000. I got all those from birdhouses. Um, they're 50 each, so it's not that expensive. And then the chocolate bars for my hairlanders. There you go. So another 500k there. I didn't explain it, but snapegrass, I've just been farming from the 
farming guild update. You get so many snape grass from that. Uh, limps, I just farm limps as I go. And the white berries I've had done for a long time. I used to do white berry runs all the time. It's going to take a couple days, but we'll do it. 76 herbivore. The first of many. 77. Oh shit, that's the stamina level. I totally forgot about that. Uh, yeah, don't worry. We will be making some staminas during this grind. 78. 79. We're in big boy territory now. 80 herbivore. Can't really do anything with that, but that looks so nice. Yo, 81. That is the level for Serodome and Bruise. Uh, I have 4,000 of them, so that's going to be so much XP. Oh shit, 86 mining. I was not expecting that. Currently getting some more Volcanic Ash. Always running low. What a good way to end the night. Still at it. 82 Herblore. And 120 mil total experience. Going places. 83. 84. Oh, what do you know? Another level. Such a surprise. Checking my Redwood Tree for a contract. Got 98 farming. Not far now. Till this 99. Yo, one more to go. 86 Herblore. And there we go. 87 Herblore. The final level in the grind. We can now make anti-venom potions. That was the original goal. It kind of just lined up that my resources got me to that level. I do have some more potions to make. About another 1,000 brews. Uh, we are going to go through these. Unfortunately, not enough to get 88. A little over two days. I've just been doing Herblore straight. Like nothing else, really. Good to get it done. That's it. All the big potions are finished. Uh, we do have a bunch of secondaries still left over for future uh, endeavors, which I'm really happy about. Our supply tab is looking so good, man. There are a couple more potions I do want to make, but I have something I want to do first. I guess it's best time as any to do some agility grinding again. I have a decent amount of elks in the inventory from, like, most of it, gorilla tasks. This is going to be a lot of money, so I don't actually know if I said this already, but... I'm planning on doing my maxed house now. And that's why we got the herblore, because I need that for one of the things I have to make. I need a lot of cash, so we're going to go through all these alcables, get some free agility out of it. Yeah, I'll see you when I'm done. It'll probably be about six hours if I had to guess. Boom. 85 agility. Very nice level to be at. I still have over a thousand alcables to go, and we're sitting at 48 marks of grace uh, this session. Life's good. I am done. Last alkable right there. Sitting at 12.9 mil cash. About 30% of the way through to 86. Also ended up at 80 marks of grace, which is going to be a nice amount of stamina's right there. On top of what I already have in the bank. Now that I have the much needed cash for construction, let's go finish up the last remaining potions. So to make some stamina's, I need to trade in these marks of grace to grace and get some amylase packs. Yeah, 3,100 amylase crystals. Each one of those is one dose of stamina. I may as well say this because some people might be wondering. I know that there's the amulet of chemistry that would effectively give me 5% more doses of these staminas, or any potion for that matter, but I'm going to get so many just from this, and I don't really want to go through the motions of making those. Normally, if you're going to do like a stamina grind right at the start, I think I would recommend it because it would give you a bit more doses, but I'm going to have so many of these. It's not going to matter. This stack of staminas makes me so happy. 775. That's going to take so long to use up. Imagine getting it this late. <laughs> I failed this account. I have to restart, guys. After the staminas, I also went out of my way to make all my super combats. I had about 700 torstals. Thought may as well use them up, and super combats are going to be really useful for PVM later on. We're slowly getting closer and closer to the fun PVM. It's done! All of the oak planks are made, and we still have 12 mil cash left over. Nice. I have a full day ahead of me, so let's see if we can knock out all of these planks. It's going to get me to 84 construction, and then we'll start building some stuff for that maxed house. Excuse the game screen, but 
Just about to hit a level right here. One more build. Yeah, 74 construction. All right, so we've done four levels so far. Eh, about an hour. So uh, I've actually been learning a method of this. Let me see if I can show you guys. Um, if you have the resizable in a, in a way, you can right click and click in the same spot. So it saves you that time of like going down and it removes any click accuracy problems. So the method goes as follows. I build a larder. I remove this and talk to the butler in the same tick, which is really helpful. It saves a lot of time. So I'm currently getting about 400k an hour, a little bit less than that. But at 74, I can actually do oak dungeon doors, which I've heard can go up to 500k. And uh, I want to try them out. If I don't like them, I'll come back to larders. But yeah, this is going a lot faster than I thought it would. I was expecting this method to be about 250, 260k an hour. So way better. Now for the oak dungeon doors, I'm kind of basing this off of a method I've seen. Yeah, so I have my zoom unlocked a little bit on Runelight so I can zoom a bit closer. And then I have it where if I right click here, it does the door space, which is the oak door. And the butler always spawns here, so I can also click it from this spot as well. So I want to have my butler withdraw 20 at a time. So I'm going to have to learn this method, but I've heard it can go up to about 500k per hour. It is finally here. I'm going to be free. Yes, 84 construction. Oh my, I have been here for so long, all day, pretty much. So, all right, let's just finish. Let's just finish up these remaining oaks, and then we'll get into building everything. I just finished the new quest. X marks the spot because I realized I don't have all the quests to use my quest cape. So, <laughs> there you go, quest cape back. Also, with this update, if I talk to Hosa, he's around here somewhere, I get a 10k XP lamp for finishing the Zaya favors. So, from now on, if you finish the favors, you get 10k XP lamp. Put that into rune crafting. Thank you. Here it goes, guys. So, we're going to be doing our first Zolra kill. I do need to get 200 Zolra scales for the maxed house. I know that I can fish them. I have before. But I need the kill for the diary. So, I may as well knock it out and get the scales at the same time. I am definitely overgeared for my first kill, especially with the heart and everything, but I am not very good at Zolra. Not confident whatsoever, so this might take a couple tries. Let's do this! I somehow got it, but I am venomed, so let's grab it, get out of here, just get the fuck out of here. There we go. <laughs> Dead. But we got the kill first try. Uh, I was not doing very well, but I'm surprised I actually got it. <laughs> we'll definitely dedicate some time to learning this later on. My main thing is I just, I don't have any of the rotations memorized, so it's just, it's just a shit show. More than enough skills. Thank you, Zora. Yeah, it was all for this. The 200 Zolra skills put into Antidote Plus Pluses, which I actually made myself from Magic Roots. And yeah, Anna Venoms right there. You need 10 of them for the uh, maxed pool. So that is where the 87 Herbler came in. Didn't have to boost. First two boost, I got a plus four. So yep, there you go. I got the Ornate Jewelry Box. I now got to go make the upgraded pool. Let's do this. There we are. Okay. I only needed a plus four for that, plus three for this. And we have it. The two most important items for the maxed house, I feel like. So this pool restores everything. All my stats, spec energy, everything. And then this teleports me pretty much everywhere. And then additionally, I still need to get the altar. But I think I mentioned this before. I do need to get the Pharaoh Scepter. Which, that means I gotta do some thieving. We're gonna worry about that later. And then I also do want to make the Portal Nexus eventually. But again, I'm gonna probably worry about that once I get a bunch of Law Runes from Zolra. Sorry, I almost forgot. Before my stew boost runs out, I gotta go make a fairy ring in the house. Uh, right here. I totally forgot about that. I have everything ready. And fairy ring. Nice. 20 seconds to spare. Now I have the uh, house that I want. Like I said, we still have a few things I want to knock out. But for now, I am set for what I actually want to accomplish with PVM. 
in the near future. Oh, that was a hell of a grind this week. I'm on the last inventory of making some teleport to house tabs. Wasn't too bad, really. I think it's about 500 per hour, and I was just AFKing it. So I need these because if I'm going to be using the house to restore my stats and teleport during PVM, there's a lot of bosses I'm not going to be on the normal spellbook. So I'm going to need these until I get 99 construction. Because when I have that, I can use the cape to teleport instead. Yo, we just hit 92 HP doing a Hispori kill. That's so weird. <laughs> anyway, I haven't been recording like any of these kills. They're the same thing over and over, but 21 KC. Still don't have a bucket. I don't know the drop rate, but I've had several friends who have multiple. And all right, 16 Snape Grass is actually pretty good. But yeah, I will continue to kill this boss until I get that damn bucket. But yeah, that was a lot of progress completed this video. Almost 30 levels from just Herblore and Construction. We're really nearing that 2,000 total mark. And yeah, I know it was a big week of skilling pretty much. Not very much combat, but next video we're going to jump back into a nice PVM grind. If you haven't yet, definitely come check out my live stream over at twitch.tv slash nooblet. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.